Hello, this is my soil survey instrument. It's the instrument I use each year to check the acidity of my soil here at Homegrown Veg in the United Kingdom. I've done it for a number of years now. My soil tends to be naturally acidic and in some cases too acidic for the vegetables that I want to grow. So I adjust that acidity by adding gardening lime to the soil. We're in the winter months here now and now's the time to do it. The raised beds are empty, the soil's bare, so it's a good opportunity to add a dusting of lime. I'm going to cut you to a video now. Um, this is how I done it a number of years ago and I actually videoed the results. I don't show you me adding the lime but very basically I sprinkle a good dusting of lime across the top of the soil and rake it in. Give it a few weeks and then recheck the soil having already checked it to see if there's been any effect on the acidity of the soil and if there hasn't or if it hasn't been to my liking, then I can add more lime. So I don't usually overdo it. I'm not heavy handed uh, first time round. Rather I try to adjust the soil pH gradually. So I'll cut you to that, um, I'll, I'll cut you to that video now. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this video now comes on the back of one that I posted recently where I showed you some tests that I've done on this soil meter to see if I could determine its accuracy. I'm not sure I learned anything from those tests. I've certainly learned from some of your comments that there is a lot of scepticism out there about these soil meters. Quite a few people have told me they don't work. Quite a few people have told me I'm not doing it right. Let me cut you to that video, check it out, let me know what you think. Oh and by the way, I'm not necessarily recommending this particular soil meter, I'm just showing you it because it's the one I've got and I don't need more than one so this is the one I work with and there are lots of soil meters out there on the market just google them okay enjoy the video hello a month ago I did a soil test on this raised bed and I found the average pH of the raised bed by taking six readings and averaging those readings out. And this raised bed pH one month ago was averaging out at 5.5. Now that's acidic, and acidic's not bad, but I would rather it were closer to the uh, 7 pH neutral. So I wanted to raise the pH of this bed, make it less acidic, um, and the way to do that was to lime it. So I limed the raised bed, 
and I recorded on these slates um, the pH in each of these locations. Now I'm going to go around the six locations, check the pH again, then write it on the slate and we'll see if the pH has gone more towards the 7 pH neutral. I think the target I set myself was to move from 5.5 pH as an average to somewhere between 6 and 6.5 pH as an average. So we'll go around these locations now, we'll do the soil samples again, uh, the soil testing again, and then we'll write on the slates what we've got and we'll do an average uh, and we'll, we'll see if we've uh, moved this pH in the direction I wanted to move it.
that's the testing complete uh, I'm not too sure if you can see the readings on the slates now you certainly saw them earlier uh, but we'll go along the front row first uh, number one on the left that pH has gone from 5 to 6 number two at the front right in front of you has gone from 6 to 6.5 and the one in the front row on the right has gone from 6 to 6.5 the one at the back on the right has gone from 5.5 to 6.5 the one in the middle at the back has gone from 5 to 6.5 and the one at the left at the back has gone from 5 to 6 so we just have a look at what we've got now we've got 6 6.5 6.5 6.5 6.5 6.5 and 6 I'm calling that an average of 6.5 near enough moving from what it used to be a 5.5 so the lime has done what it's supposed to do and it's raised the pH of this bed to where I want it to be to grow a range of vegetables I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's a lovely uh, sunny day here at home grown veg this is the first day it hasn't rained for let me say nearly a month uh, we've had a deluge so there's been plenty of time um, for the lime that I put on a month ago to be washed into this bed and to affect the pH of the bed so I'm, I'm quite pleased with this I think this is where I want to be all we need now is to sit back for two or three months until the weather warms up we get into the spring of the year and then we'll uh, we'll sow something in this race bed. So this is homegrown veg signing out.